So I'm editing this video right now and I cannot believe that that used to be me. I can't believe it. Not just the teeth, but like the way I talk, the way I move my face, the way my face looks. Like my whole entire face has changed and my hair color too. But I'm in shock because that was not me. That's not me. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name's Rihanna. The purpose of this video is to document my teeth journey. So it's kind of a long story. I never got braces as a child because it just wasn't on the cards, I guess. Seeing photos of myself is the worst thing for me. I'm always just like, oh God, what angle am I facing the camera? What angle in the sky is the sun coming down? Because there's shadows. Like if I try and move this around to that, I hate that because it really like accentuates the crossover in my two front teeth. I've never been in the position where I could actually fix my teeth and now I am, which is so exciting. I think my journey really started in 2020. It was around August, September. I booked in for a consultation with Invisalign and I went in blind. I knew nothing about anything. So I went into this consultation and obviously I was like so excited to have straight teeth soon and that was over a year ago and obviously I still haven't started straightening my teeth. I went in and they did all the x-rays and they gave me my quotes and it was like nine grand <laughs> Australian dollars and at first I was like oh my god nine grand like I was expecting six thousand dollars. I came to the conclusion that I was okay paying like nine ten thousand dollars to get my teeth straightened. I was like I'm, I want to go ahead with it and she was like okay first thing we need to do is you need to go to a dentist and make sure everything's okay before we can actually do anything because you don't want to put liners on and then realize like you need serious dental emergency fillings or whatever because that will change the shape of your teeth and then your aligners won't fit anymore and this is where everything starts going a little bit you know the lady I had my consultation with, she referred me to a dentist that she knew, which was close to my house. So I was like, okay, sure. Like I hadn't had a dentist since moving to the city. So I didn't really know where else to go. And I just went along with where she referred me to. This dentist was awful to say the least. This one guy, I don't know if he was having a bad day, but he was yelling at his dental assistants and the admin girls. And I was like, cool anyway he was just talking down to me like i was a child and he was not telling me what he was doing even as he was doing it i was just kind of like what is happening right now i felt so dissociated he decides oh what a perfect time to try out this new cleaning method i don't remember what it was called but basically it's this new thing where they use very fine sand particles in this high pressure water and they just spray it around you know those videos where people clean their pavements with the high pressure water it was like that first of all it was painful second of all there was blood everywhere third of all he didn't have that little sucker vacuum thing in my mouth so i was swallowing all this sand liquid then he takes some x-rays so that's the second lot of x-rays that i had done he's like you need 14 fillings I didn't book in for it and I went home crying because I thought that my entire straight teeth journey was temporarily just done. I cried so much because I was just so like bummed out. My partner was really helpful. He was like, you know what, how about you come along to my dentist? And so I went to his dentist, they looked at my teeth and they said, you need, I think it was like four fillings and the rest are fine, they're fine. And they were like, we're gonna ask for the x-rays from the last place. And I was like, okay, cool. Like I won't need to get more x-rays. So they asked for my x-rays from the last place and he never sent them through. I don't know, it says a lot. So I had to get new x-rays, that's my third. And then I booked in for my fillings. So I had two sessions of fillings and then when they were done, I came back 
for a braces consultation. The dentist looked at my teeth and was like, I think there's around four millimeters of crowding, which is on the cusp of me being able to do it or having to go to an orthodontist. You should probably go to the orthodontist just to get a professional opinion, like a specialist. So he referred me to an orthodontist and the orthodontist looked at my teeth. I got more x-rays. He said my bottom teeth are actually very crowded so the dentist won't be able to do it. At this point it's like early 2021. I want to say it was like six months between my very first consultation at Invisalign to having all my fillings actually done and getting back on the straight teeth journey. So I had more x-rays and I had them do the mold thingy and then I had my final meeting with them to see what they had come up with for me. From the x-rays they noticed that my wisdom teeth were actually impacting pretty bad. The orthodontist said it is probably worth getting them out before doing any straightening of teeth. At this point I think it's April. Months and months pass and suddenly I start having like a lot of trouble with my wisdom teeth. It's like they could hear us. I was getting like headaches down and around here and through the back of my head. They started growing out. All four were impacting. It was the top ones that had started growing out and they were growing like forwards and sideways at the same time. I think it was like July when I booked in my consultation there. I had to get more x-rays. There's been so many x-rays. Yeah, I went to that consultation. I said to my boss, look, I need this to happen. It has to be a priority over work. And they got me my quote. I was like, yes, let's do it. And then they booked me into the hospital for the surgery. I did more x-rays. The day finally came and I got my wisdom teeth out, which was two weeks ago. I did record some footage post-surgery. It's not good. <laughs> but maybe I'll include a few pieces. Got my wisdom teeth out yesterday. I'm also very swollen and it hurts to talk. Like it hurts to move my jaw. It's like a really achy pain. I am on painkillers. I feel like they do help, but the underlying ache isn't going away. And I just feel very stiff. I can't open my mouth very far. And yeah, the painkillers are making me feel very drowsy. I got hardly any sleep last night because I was trying to stay propped up and also trying to not dribble. <laughs> My entire chin and lower lip was numb until about 5am it started to get some tingly sensations back. I look wrecked. I look <laughs> so messed up. For my case, I wasn't allowed to have anything hot until the numbing had disappeared. The numbing's gone now, so my boyfriend is bringing me home mashed potato and gravy from KFC because I feel fragile, so I need mashed potato and gravy. Am I about to cry thinking about mashed potato and gravy? I love mashed potato and gravy. It's time to swish my mouth with my mouthwash. This side is way more swollen than this side. Also, don't mind my sty. <laughs> it's been there for like five months and I've had two treatments of antibiotic and it's still not going away. Greasy hair, my God, I can't wait to shower. All things considered, I was expecting to feel a lot worse. I mean, it is pretty bad when I try and eat because I feel so hungry. I just want to eat a lot and it's a very slow and painful process because I can't really like move my mouth. It looks like it's going down a little bit. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be more swollen again tomorrow. Hello again. It's day three. I feel like this morning I woke up. <clears throat> Ow. Slightly more puffy because I want to like still maintain a good diet this week. In my smoothies, I've been having protein powder, spinach, fruits. So I've been having lemon, oranges, orange juice, strawberries, as well as like Greek yogurt, which has a bit of protein in it as well. I got a lot of sleep last night, which was a relief. I got barely any sleep the first night. Yeah, I pretty much slept the whole night through. I did take a um, painkiller before bed, which might have helped. I feel like it's kind of less pain today, but more achy, if that makes sense. My jaw just feels exhausted. But anyway, I'm occupying myself with my knitting project. Good morning, it's day four. Nothing much is different today. I just feel very um, run down, swollen, gross, 
so tired. I feel over it. I think today I'm just gonna like be really strict with the ice pack and I'm gonna keep rinsing with my mouthwash and I'm gonna keep drinking water. I felt so dehydrated this morning. I do not feel good. I'm ready for this to start feeling better each day rather than worse each day. That jawline though. <laughs> Day five, the swelling is significantly going down. I feel like today I can actually smile, kind of. <laughs> I still feel like my voice doesn't work, but that's probably because there's strain on it. <clears throat> Nothing new today, just more ice packs. And yeah, that's about it. How shaky is my voice? Today, I actually feel like there's clumps of gooey stuff in the back of my throat and it's really uncomfortable. I don't like the sensation. But brushing my teeth is getting easier every day. I'm so done. Like, why can't, why doesn't my voice work? <laughs> I hate it. Most of the swelling has gone. I still have a ball of hard swelling in here, which is painful and it feels really weird when it moves. I still can't chew. It's day seven, by the way. I'm gonna go put my ice pack on. I assume it'll just get smaller every day and I'll just keep getting better every day and nothing new will happen, so. Two weeks later, I'm still struggling to eat real food because there's like stitches on the inside of my cheeks and I still have some hard swelling here. And because of those things, it's still quite hard and painful to open my jaw very wide. But yeah, it's definitely a lot better than what it was last week. I pretty much couldn't eat anything. I was just drinking soup. So because I wasn't eating, I had no energy at all. So now the next step is my post-surgery follow-up appointment for my wisdom teeth. In four days after that, on the 22nd of October, I get my braces put on. In the end, although I wanted Invisalign because it's like less invasive and it's easier, I think I just would prefer something that, you know, it's quicker, it does the job better. So with that being said, I will see you in a month's time, either before I get my braces put on or when I have braces. So today is the day that I'm getting my braces put on. I don't know, I feel kind of like, it feels surreal right now. I don't really quite know what I'm doing. I kind of feel a little bit like, oh God, what am I doing? What am I about to do? But yeah, this is the last time these teeth will be ever seen like this. Look, I'm excited, but I'm also like, I feel a bit numb about the whole thing. I'm excited for the end result. I'm not really excited for the braces part. So anyway, I'm going to start walking to the dentist now. I'll see you when I have braces on. Oh my God. <laughs> this is my first time seeing them. They're not that noticeable. <laughs> the braces themselves are actually sharper than I was expecting, but they don't, like, they're not uncomfortable. I thought it would be really uncomfortable. I can't talk properly yet. When I bit down, my teeth would hit the bottom brace, so they had to put, forget what they're called, spaces to, like, stop my teeth knocking the braces. And if they wear down and I start hitting my braces, I have to go back and get them touched up. But yeah, the treatment has begun. I actually don't hate it as much as I was worried that I was going to. So my next appointment is in eight weeks. I don't really know. I guess that's just like my first tightening and oh, and about my braces, I went for the clear aligners on the top 60. So that was an extra $600. I also opted for Sure Smile, which is a robotic wire, which just means they can do more, more quickly. And that was an extra $900. I just want straight teeth. I want the end goal as soon as possible. So I thought if I can get to the end goal six months quicker, then I'm gonna do that. And now I'm tearing up because I just, I feel like I've waited so long to have straight teeth. Like I've 
always hated my teeth and now like my braces are actually on and I'm gonna have straight teeth within like I don't know one or two years or somewhere in between I kind of can't believe that it is actually happening like I have braces on what the hell I actually kind of like it they look cute I'm actually pumped, like it finally happened. So there's no pain yet. It's 1 p.m. I got them put on at 11 p.m. And the lady said that I might feel pain in three hours. She gave me a list of foods to like avoid and foods that can stain your teeth. Things that stain your teeth are curries and red wine. If I could, I would eat curry for dinner every night with a red wine, like, that works. Good angle. I'm not allowed to eat nuts, red skins, minties, jelly babies, hard boiled lollies or ice cubes. Out of all of those, I don't eat any of them. Bread is good, soup is good. Oh my god, don't get me started on the soup. Pasta is good, potatoes. Oh my god, I love potatoes. Cheese, oh my god. And rice. My doctor told me to stay away from carbs, but my orthodontist is telling me to stay with carbs. So like, I'm gonna listen to my orthodontist. They gave me my little care pack. So it's got toothpaste, floss, special floss, a toothbrush, wax, a little tablet to see how well I'm brushing after like a week. And they also gave me a electric toothbrush. I am due for a new head on my existing electric toothbrush. So I'm not complaining. Update, so I haven't eaten since I got home and I just got a bit peckish. So I thought I would eat some peaches and I realized that um, I can't actually chew because of the uh, things that they put on my teeth to keep my teeth from touching my braces and my teeth are actually quite painful. I'm hoping that I can actually chew. Like how long will I not be able to chew for? I don't know. I guess I'll get used to it, but... Anyway, that's all I had to say. It's day two. I just wanted to say, like, <laughs> apart from it being really, I'm finding it difficult to, like, talk and move my lips around them, but that's just, like, an adjustment thing. However, I can't eat. I can't eat anything. I ate mashed potato for dinner last night, and all I've had today is a smoothie and a cup of tea because I can't chew. Anytime I put pressure on any of my teeth, it's just, it's so painful. And also, I've just put lip balm on, but I can't lick my lips either, so they've been getting really dry and, like, cracked. But yeah, that's about all. I just, I can't eat and I didn't think I wouldn't be able to eat. I don't know why. Because I just had my wisdom teeth out. I was like, it won't be like that again. It'll just be like, put these braces on and you'll be good to go. But no, that wasn't the case at all. And because my teeth are so loose, like... <sighs> I feel like I just want to grind them because they're in pain. <laughs> anyway, um, that's just where I'm at right now. In pain, I'm uncomfortable, I'm hungry, but that's just how it is. For the next couple days, we'll get through it. <laughs> oh god, okay. Excuse the look. Um, <laughs> it's day five and I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying because I was just looking at photos of me before my braces. I just realized, like, I will never have those teeth again. Those teeth are gone forever. I've just waited so long. I will never have those teeth again. <laughs> My teeth have had such a big impact on my happiness throughout my life and they're finally gonna be fixed. <laughs> but hopefully I will stop having breakdowns and the updates will be monthly from now on. Hi everyone, this is my four week update. So as you can see, my teeth actually look a little bit straighter already, which is so exciting. I can't believe that they started moving so quickly and like after just three days even, I had gaps between my front teeth. So yeah, they were moving really quickly and I think they still are. If you look at the wire, you can see how on day one it was like really bendy and then today it's just like so much straighter. And I guess that's just how much my teeth have moved, which is crazy. Yeah, I don't really have much to update on. I don't really have much news other than like the spaces they put on my teeth to stop my front teeth from knocking the 
bottom brace off they have been making it really hard to chew because obviously there's only two teeth in my mouth that actually touch to chew there was one day where i decided to get noodles for lunch but they were the noodles that were like really thin i couldn't get them in the right spot to chew them so i was just like swallowing these noodles whole choking myself it was not a pleasant experience and i ended up going hungry that day because i just couldn't eat my lunch and then yeah when i got home i got out the kitchen scissors and i literally had to like cut my noodles into bite-sized pieces and then i could eat it <laughs> i'd say the pain went away after about a week and a half chewing things was pretty sore up until then though like because everything was just so like loose and tender my teeth still feel loose and a little bit tender but like it's bearable i can actually chew soft foods which is good my front teeth though like i can't bite with my front teeth because they still they have no power behind them other than that all is well <laughs> i did eat curry on like day three i very much stained them so going forward i'm not gonna eat curry until like maybe the weekend before i get my bands changed i guess we'll have to wait to see how that goes that's pretty much it for my one month update this is my two month update. So I got my braces tightened yesterday. They're nice and white again because I had stained them with curry but they replaced them and now they're nice and white which makes me happy. That also so much straighter. Like they've straightened up so quickly. So I'll show you the before and after or like day one versus yesterday. If you look at the wire, you can really see how much they have moved. There's not too much to update you on, to be honest. I was in pain eating until like a couple of weeks ago. It lasted a really long time and I was struggling to eat like even soft things. It got better one or two weeks before getting them tightened yesterday. So now they're sore again. <laughs> I can't eat much at the moment, but I'm hoping it doesn't last as long the second time around. So yeah, that's about it. I just looked back at that video of the side view and you actually can't see my other tooth. Quick update today because I am very quickly running out of time in the day. Today has flown. It's my last day before starting my new job and I had so much that I wanted to do today and I've done a lot but the time is just fleeting. By the way, I'm now a blondie. I'm actually naturally a blonde, fun fact. I quit my job, I went blonde. I may be having a quarter life crisis. Nevertheless, here's my braces update. And um, this is my three month update. So getting my braces tightened, the pain only lasted for about one or two days, I think. I haven't eaten a curry this time, but my braces still are a little bit yellow tinged. Before my tightening, it was all very exciting because they were moving like every day I could see the movement and now it's just like maybe it's not as noticeable as it was to begin with but trusting the process it's been four months with my braces on now I'm actually getting my braces tightened in a week from today so that will be my second tightening and I'm pretty sure I said this in the last update but it feels like my teeth haven't moved since getting them tightened the first time i mean overall they're already so much straighter than they were to begin with like i'm sure they're still moving they can't not be moving right also i am getting quite sick of having them on my teeth just like mouth movements and like talking and smiling it's like having to work around something that's not supposed to be in your mouth which is literally what it is Okay, so this is my five month update. I have this tooth here, which isn't rotating to be like in line. It's just kind of sitting wonky. They put in a coil or something. Sorry, that was really ugly way to talk. Yeah, they've separated the teeth a lot and it's actually pushing these two teeth further in that way, which is making them cross over again. They were so much straighter. My next appointment is actually the big one where they do new x-rays and make new molds so that they can make the strong wire. After that, I'm pretty sure is when I get my like fast wires put on so hopefully then it'll be super quick after that maybe like six months I don't know I'm tired <laughs> it's only been five months and I'm ready for them to come off I know when I first got them I was like so stoked but no next update will be in another four weeks 
and I'll have hopefully my new wires on and yeah we'll see where we are then quick update today because my mouth is aching this morning i had my tightening they took new photos and x-rays and they also added two more brackets to my very back teeth i have like tooth growing out of my teeth on my two back teeth <laughs> sorry it's noisy i've got my window open so they stick out double what they are supposed to stick out i also have a band in now which is in 24 7 I only take it out to brush my teeth and then put a new one in so that's the only thing and then i have to wear bands on the other side overnight uh my next visit is in 12 weeks which is like three months away they just feel like they're so in the way i'm in pain i look like i'm in pain um So what they did today, they put new wires on, but they also put a chain on. Because last time they added this like coil thing there, which wedged them apart. And there was a huge gap here. It's kind of pushed together after what they did today. I noticed that from here, everything was just kind of pushing that way and things were like getting more crowded. They said today that like my teeth might not be ready for the fast wire still by next visit. You can see the middle of my bottom teeth is where it's supposed to be, but the middle of my top teeth is like too far that way. So that's why this one's on 24 seven and this one only comes on at night time. It's like the, I don't know, it's hard to see on camera, but it's definitely like lopsided. Anyway, that's all. So I'm gonna go now, maybe take a nap, take some Panadol. Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, I don't think I've recorded an update since five or six months. So it's currently mid-September which makes it 10 or 11 months. I try to remember what I said in my last update. I'm pretty sure the line down the middle wasn't lined up and none of my teeth touched when I clenched my teeth. But now, as you can see, they're looking pretty good. Everything's pretty straight. My bottom teeth especially are very straight. They've been straight for maybe like six months. My top teeth, however, See, they, they look pretty good, but from the back inside my mouth, they don't feel nearly as straight. So I officially have my Sure Smile wire on, which is supposed to be faster than a regular wire. I think it's like robotic and it already has the movement programmed into it or something. And then it just moves straight where it needs to go. My next visit is on the 7th of October. So that's in four weeks. So I've got another month with this wire and then I'll move on to my second sure smile wire. But, oh, my ring's on the floor. That's where that went. Anyway, <laughs> the staining is still here. You can see they are yellow. I think I was pretty good this time around with not eating like pasta, curry, red stuff. I'm pretty sure I had a red wine the first or the second night. Actually, no, I didn't because I went on holiday like the very next day and I was pretty good, but I couldn't escape the stain with my eating habits. And I feel like they stain noticeably after maybe like one or two weeks of having them on. I do drink tea, obviously. <laughs> I drink tea pretty much every day. Sources that are red or yellow, it'll just stain them. So I don't think it's something that you can, I mean, if all you ate was mashed potato, sure, <laughs> you might be able to escape the staining, but I'm not about that, so. I'm gonna be chilling over here with my yellow braces. <laughs> if you eat a lot of curries or pastas, just get the silver braces. That is my opinion on the ceramic braces. I think they only look good for like one week every time you get them tightened. With my eating habits, obviously everyone's different, but yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it. My orthodontist is saying less than six months left. The prediction at the moment is January or February I should be getting them off. I'm excited! It's been almost 12 months since I got my braces put on. I also have a fringe. I've lost like my front layers because I cut them into a fringe so now I need to make my front layers again. 
But anyway, so I got them tightened a couple of days ago. They didn't actually change the wire. They're changing the wire in another six weeks. I think they just changed my chain that goes across the bottom because I had a gap form between my two bottom teeth. So they need to close that. And then at my next appointment in six weeks time, they're gonna put my second set of Sure Smile wires on. After that, they'll be on for another eight weeks i think that's nearing the end of the treatment so i could be getting my braces off mid-january to february they're looking pretty straight they're lined up pretty nicely i have some swelling in my back gum at the moment so it's a little bit hard to chew again but i had no pain with this tightening because they didn't actually change my wires I think the flare is gone because there was a nice flare there for a little while, especially on the bottom teeth. My front teeth are back in front and my back teeth sit behind. I think I've said this a million times, but like, I don't think ceramic braces are worth it. I think I would have preferred to have just the regular silver. I'd rather have brace face than my teeth just look yellow. And I know that it's just my braces, but when other people see me and talk to me and I've just got like fluoro yellow teeth, they're probably thinking, oh my God, this girl needs to brush her teeth. They told me green curry was fine, but I don't know. It still kind of feels like it stains after literally anything. I'd probably do better if I brushed my teeth immediately after eating, but I don't do that. <laughs> so that could be my issue. Anyway, I'm gonna go for now and I'll see you in six weeks. It's currently December the 7th. My last appointment was the 18th of November. We're all really straight. The only thing which is a recurring issue is the staining of the ceramic braces. But I've got another five weeks, I think, until my next appointment. It might be my final checkup because I'm currently on my final wire. So as long as my teeth are good at the next checkup, then I think we're on track to have the braces taken off soon after that. I'm very excited. I'm getting to the point where I just want them off. They're getting in the way. The only thing we're kind of waiting on now is the little gap between my two bottom teeth. It's slowly closing. I'm really loving how straight that is. That just blows my mind. It's so crazy looking back at my old teeth as well, but it's just so crazy that like I fixed my teeth. It's just like I f did it. I'm sorry. Anyway, we're nearing the end and I'm feeling really happy. If you're thinking about getting braces, but you're like, is it really worth it? Totally worth it. Absolutely worth it. Because like, this is my smile now. And I just, I don't know, in a way I feel like my crooked teeth were holding me back from like who I really am. Me now compared to me when I first got my braces put on, I'm a completely different person. I've completely blossomed and I honestly believe that it's all because of my confidence. I don't know. It's just really nice. I'm just in a really nice place with who I am becoming. It's really comforting to know that I am becoming myself. Anyway, I'm, <laughs> I don't really have anything else to update you on. That's just where we are now, I will most likely, well, hopefully, talk to you around the time of my next appointment, which I think was mid-January. Yeah, I'll see you then. Hello, today is Monday, the 16th of January. I got my braces changed three days ago. I have some exciting news. So, my braces are ready to come off. Here's how they're looking at the moment. Very nice. So yeah, on Friday, they said that my teeth are looking very good and they're ready to come off. So my next appointment, they will be gone. <laughs> like I knew this was coming. I knew this was going to happen at this appointment. But now that it's actually happened and I've actually got like my date when I'm getting my braces off, I'm just so excited. My next appointment is on the 24th of March which is in 10 weeks time. I'm a little annoyed that it's so far in the future because these bad boys are gonna stain like hell in 10 weeks, but it is what it is. Once they're off, they're off forever. And then on that day, I'll also be having like the little wire that goes in behind the teeth. I'm gonna have that on the top and the bottom. They said the whole process is gonna take around an hour and a 
a half. So at my most recent appointment, they didn't change the wires, but they did change the chains. They also did a mold of my teeth. So they had this squishy blue thing that was kind of minty and I had to bite down on it and then it hardened and then they pulled it off. I did have bits of mold coming out of my braces for the rest of the morning, but it was fine. It also actually left a really bad taste in my mouth for the day. Even after like brushing my teeth and eating things, like it still left a really bad metallic taste in my mouth, but that was all. But yeah, I probably won't record another update until I get my braces taken off because it's, we're at the point where nothing's changing. We're just in the waiting game. So yeah, I will see you when it's time to get them taken off. It's currently March. I know I said I wasn't gonna do a 17 month update, but I felt like it. Um, literally less than a month until I get my braces off. Yes. This has been a longer process than I thought it was gonna be. I thought with the sure smile wise, it was gonna be like 16 months, but it's 18 months. I think there were a few moments in there where they overcorrected my teeth and then they had to go backwards a little bit, but nevertheless, here we are at the end of the treatment. I don't think I cleaned my braces since I ate a peach this morning. So really sorry about that. I need to go get that out. I've been really bad with flossing. And last night, as a result, I had a bit of a swollen gum in here. I think it was caused by a bit of food that was stuck between my teeth or stuck in my braces, but it had caused the gum to swell. It was flopping around. I'll try and show you. You can see here, this bit of gum has swollen upwards and underneath the braces. And last night when I was using the little pick that they give you. I went from the top down and I kind of dislodged that bit of gum <laughs> and it was flopping around and it was such a weird feeling and it was just like super unpleasant. I'm sorry that was really gross. That's what happens when you don't floss your teeth. I don't recommend. It's not fun. I've had it happen to other areas of my gums. Literally the gum just swells. It's really painful. It's really uncomfortable. It's really unpleasant and it's obviously like not healthy. Now I do know that Listerine, like the mouthwash, really helps with swelling, helps it go down. So use your orthodontic pick twice a day, floss at least once a week, brush after every meal and use Listerine once a day as well. That's what I would recommend to keep your gums healthy and keep them from swelling. So yeah, that's my little update and advice. I went into this knowing that I'm lazy with this kind of stuff and yeah, it's true. So like, <laughs> no matter how much you tell yourself that you're gonna change, you're gonna like build these habits for these braces that you've wanted your entire life, you ain't gonna change. <laughs> Sorry, but like you are who you are, just accept that. You gotta put in work, it's not gonna be easy. Motivation for having straight teeth will not be enough alone. You need to put in systems to make sure you do this stuff every single day, every single week. I think for the first like five months, I was brushing at least three times a day after every time I ate. I was forcing every single week. And well, even then I was still getting like inflamed gums, but I think that's because my teeth were moving so much at the start. Even going like one week without flossing, it would get inflamed and swollen and stuff. But yeah, I think that was because everything was like going on really quickly at the beginning of the process. But as things kind of slowed down towards the end, so did my flossing and my brushing. Next time I see will definitely be when I'm getting my braces off. I hear it's gonna hurt a lot, so I'm a little bit nervous. Do you know what? I'm actually a little bit scared that my teeth are gonna fall out. <laughs> Cause like, what if my teeth aren't super strong? There's no way to put ya. As usual, I should get one of those car things. It's braces off day. <sighs> I feel really nervous. I just took some Panadol because I'm scared it's going to hurt uh, quite a bit. From what I've seen, it is quite painful. So it is time to go. So I'm going to stop filming and start driving. Should I do one of those car transitions again? So here's the last time you'll ever see me with my braces on. Oh my God, the braces are off. He said the color will settle in a couple of brushes. It's just like kind of yellow because of the glue or something. I can't believe they're gone. I was thinking while I was at work, it's like, I'm a little bit sad that they're gone because I had them so long, they became a part of me and they became like almost something I was proud of. And they kind of became comforting. They're very slimy. My bite feels a little bit wonky at the moment too, but I'm assuming that's just because everything's like readjusting and settling in. So I have a wire at the back, top and bottom. But my next appointment is in five weeks. 
and in that appointment I'll be getting x-rays, photos and my nighttime retainer. I feel like when I had my braces on I was like talking a little bit weirdly because I had to move around my braces with my lips. And now that they're gone I feel like I'm talking even more weirdly. <laughs> they gave my teeth a clean and then they put the wire on and then they started breaking off the brackets and because I had ceramic ones at the top front they shatter. So the guy he came in and he was like don't be alarmed if you hear like a cracking noise it's not your tooth it's the bracket because sometimes they do shatter um so he took those off and the girl took the rest off and it didn't hurt too much it was just like a little bit of a jolt for the back ones and then it hurt a little bit in the front four and the bottom front four just because i guess those teeth are like a little bit more sensitive but yeah it didn't really hurt too much it was just more like uncomfortable and then they had to clean off the glue which was the most uncomfortable part and i feel like it was also the most um time consuming the buffer of the teeth to like get all the glue off that was uncomfortable i was so tense in that chair and i was like literally squirming in my seat just trying to keep my head still so that it could be over as quickly as possible and then once the glue was off i think that's literally everything i look so funny right now with <laughs> i can't really see it properly but all i can see is like my mouth so yeah that was my day my gums are a little bit inflamed oh and also with the wire on i didn't realize you can still floss when you have those wires on they leave gaps in between the glue so you can get through there with the floss. I thought it was just going to be like solid wire all the way through, glue all the way through, can't get in there, just have to deal with it. I don't know why I thought that, but no, they actually put the glue on in dots along the wire. So there's still gaps between your teeth and you can still floss. But yeah, they said floss every two to three days so i am going to and i mean this i'm going to be better at flossing now that it's easier to do everything's just a tiny bit tender at the moment but i'm happy i'm very happy with how they look um i can't stop looking at them <laughs> they look so good so yes oh my god it just it looks so good uh, i feel like i look so cute what Okay, so there's one thing I wanted to talk about to wrap this video up. Let's talk money. So I've summed up everything I've paid for the entire process. Now bear in mind, this will all be in Australian dollars and I didn't have private health insurance for any of this. So I've paid for all of this up front. But if you do have private health insurance, um, I'm not sure how much it will take it down, but it definitely will help a lot. So my initial consultation at Invisalign was free. And then the first thing I spent money on was preparing my teeth for the braces. So my first expense was my dentist appointments and fillings. The first dentist checkup, which was the dodgy guy, <laughs> that was $316. And then I went to the good dentist, who is now my dentist, and that checkup was $62. Cause he didn't have to do a clean, he just looked at my teeth. And then my first session of fillings was $380. My second session of fillings was another $380. They also recommended I buy an electric toothbrush. So I added that onto the expenses. That was $35. And then we move on to the wisdom teeth removal. So my surgery consultation with the surgeon was $150 and I believe Medicare covered $76.80 of that. And then the bill for the surgeon was $1,530. The bill for the hospital was $1,788.40. The bill for the anesthetic was $624. And I had to buy some things from the pharmacy for my recovery period. I think that was like the mouthwash that you need to use. That was $44.93. Medicare gave me back $173.10 for something. I believe that was for the hospital section of the fee. And then the hospital charged me wrong in the beginning, so they gave me a refund of $37.40. Moving on to the braces, um, my initial braces consultation at the dentist was $32.50. My initial orthodontist consultation was $180. My braces were $7,760 and I had to buy some extra toothpicks, so that was an extra $4. And then my final appointment, which I haven't had yet, that'll be another $180. So now we come to the tallies, right? So the total cost for preparing my teeth ready for braces was $1,173. That included four fillings, a clean and an electric toothbrush. The total cost for getting all four of my wisdom teeth removed was $3,850.03. This included the consultation with the surgeon, the actual surgery and the aftercare products. 
And the total cost of my braces was $8,156.50. This included both my dentist and orthodontic consultations, the braces themselves, and all the extras and the final appointment. So if you take out all the extras and just look at the standard braces and the two um, orthodontic appointments, it comes to 6620 so I mentioned earlier in this video that I got six ceramic brackets on my top teeth. That was an extra $600. I got the Robotic Shore Smile wires and they were an extra $900. So the standard braces alone without any extras were 600, uh, sorry, 600, wow, I wish. Okay, $6,260 for the standard braces alone. So... <laughs> In total, I spent $13,179.53. That brings us to the end of my braces journey. It's been a wild one. And also I can't believe I've managed to condense almost two years of footage into pretty much a 40 minute video. That's crazy. And also the changes that I've gone through with my appearance it completely boggles my brain. Anyway, if you're thinking about braces, I say just do it. Just do it. But in saying that, I also think that wonky teeth are cute. And like, if you're content with your smile, then there's no reason to change it. If you have the room to become accepting of your smile and to love your smile as it is, then power to you. But I just couldn't do that. Um, yeah, for me, I really, really, really hated my teeth. And this is one of the best things that I've ever done. And I'm 26. Like I had braces when I was 25 and 26 and I loved it. So I hope this video was helpful for anyone who might be curious about braces. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And also give the video a thumbs up because I really appreciate it. And also subscribe if you want to follow along with other avenues of my life. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far. I know it's a long one, so <laughs> congratulations, you made it. I will see you in the next one.